Minnesota lawmakers in the House are still debating a spending package that includes a $2.2 billion boost for education. Democrats call it a record investment in the state schools. Caroline Cummings joins us now to break down some of the highlights there. Hi, Caroline. Hi there, Amelia. So a key feature of this bill is baseline funding schools receive from the state. So that's the per pupil, per, per pupil formula will be indexed to the rate of inflation in future years. But there's also money in here to cover the cost for special special education, recruit more recruit more teachers of color, and also um, hire more school psychologists. Now, the 300-page bill includes new requirements for personal finance classes in order to graduate. Holocaust and genocide education will be included in social studies classes. And the opioid overdose reversal drug, naloxone, and free menstrual products will be stocked in schools. There's also what's called the READ Act to boost literacy, as students' ability to read at grade level has dropped in recent years. We've heard about education being underfunded for years. And it has, but we're gonna change that with this bill. While we are transformational in the amount of money we give, we're also transformational in the amount of mandates we give. Now, the legislature must wrap up the session by Monday, and leaders have said that they will not call a special session to finish up all that budget work. So after this House passes this bill tonight, it will go over to the Senate to get a vote there. But that's not the only key issue left on the table this year. They've also got to button up and repass recreational cannabis and paid leave. Amelia. Sounds like there's still a lot of work there, Caroline. Thank you.